In this session, I'm going to introduce you to the Brick Status Light Block and how we use it. So, a couple of things to point out. Well, first of all, I'm going to start a new program just to get us ready. But also point out that my EV3 programmable brick is on its side so that you can see the lights and how they are used. Okay, so I want to start off by dragging the Brick Status Light Block onto the canvas. Um, and this utilizes the LEDs on the brick. Now, I want to point out, um, for the LEDs to work, the block needs to be work, uh, used in conjunction with another block, just like we did with the display block. So today, we're going to, again, use the weight block, but we could also use the motor block as well. So I will drag that in ready. Now, just to explain some of the features of the uh, brick uh, light display block. So what I can do is just click on it. I can choose different colors. Now, bear in mind, when the brick is in action, it's green, flashing. When it's ready, it's green as well. So for you to see something, I want to change the color. I'll change it to red. And I can also choose whether I want it to be pulsating, i.e. flashing, or not, or just to be constantly on. Um, the other thing I can do is I can turn my brick on or off, or I can reset it as well. So I want to create a very simple program for you just to show the brick, uh, state the lights in action. So I'm going to turn on uh, my lights to red. And I'm going to run that for two seconds. And that should be flashing red for two seconds. And then I'm going to bring in the block again. And we will keep it on the default, which is orange or amber. And we're going to run that for one second. So what you should see happen is it flashed red for two seconds, and then it should flash amber or orange for one second. So let's try that out. So there you go, flashing red, now flashing orange or amber. Let you have a go as well. Let's see what you can do. Great. <laughs> 